afraid I can be myself And I hope you can be yourself as well Cause I can make you feel alright These bags under my eyes are absolutely ridiculous Day two in Toronto. I've just finished showering and getting ready for the first day of the job. I'm going to be leaving in about 20 minutes to catch the tram all the way to Project Spaces, which is my office. Um, excited and also a little bit nervous. How could I ignore you? Trust me, I adore you. Swimming through our dreams. Oh, I really need to uh, fly my tripod out to Toronto, but until then, you're gonna have to make do with this shaky, terrible setup. But I just got back from the office. I'm not actually done work. I forgot my laptop charger this morning, so coming home to grab that. But it's been a great first day. For anyone wondering why the bike is behind me, it's usually right here. I just had to move it so I can use this natural light. Um, anyhow, I spoke a lot in the last vlog about me moving to Toronto, um, but I don't think I really explained why or what for. So I'm actually coming here for a job. I just started as a sales and marketing strategist for a really small startup named Infusion Health. Infusion Health is a health and wellness business that aims to increase employee health. They focus on mental health, physical health, mindfulness, nutrition, diet, exercise, holistic wellness, everything that, that makes you feel good makes you happy, they want to do. They want to, they want to improve health. And they want to do this by going into companies and, and bigger firms and targeting employees that are working in sort of stressful environments. Um, and they do this through workshops and lectures, uh, which sound boring but aren't, I promise, uh, health fairs and certificate programs. Um, this, this startup was kind of built by my two bosses, two women whom I really admire. It was really a labor of love and I am really excited to work there this summer. So I don't have any meetings today, so I'm hoping to get a lot of work done. Uh, I want to make some cold calls, I want to build a client list, uh, I want to retool some of our slide decks, um, and also one of my favorite people in the world, Liam, is going to be in Toronto for five hours on the layover, so I'm going to meet him for lunch. Uh, should be a good day. One of the coolest things about my office, in my opinion, is I get to use this old school freight elevator. to bring my bike up to the office. Yeah. And you say Shy City? Shy City? Shy City? Coming home again. It's huge. It's like a big... Well, that suits you. Yeah, I like this. Good, how are you? Thank you. That's it. You get a much better fit. Right? I'm gonna bring a mirror so you can see it. I really like this. What do you think? Hey, well, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. <laughs> Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Welcome anytime and uh, welcome to Toronto, man. And what's the store called? The store is called Brims. We're at 311A Queen Street West. I'm stoked that we had this. Yeah. yeah. It worked out so well. So go get your flight. Don't be late. Yeah, Good seeing you, man. I'll see you later, man. I'll see you later. So despite it being already halfway through the third quarter, we're going to attempt to head down to Jurassic Park to with, catch... With great pace. With great pace to catch the last of the Raptors game. You what? I always say, I always like you. It's a good thing we, uh, we came as early as 
we did because it's real packed. They're not doing too good. We called an Uber home. Didn't really want to figure out the subway again. Hi right, there for Kevin? Yes. Good, how are you? Not bad, thanks. Just finished editing yesterday's vlog. It's quarter to one in the morning. We're meeting at 9.15 tomorrow morning. 